YouTube channel for Santa J. Claus. Be sure to subscribe for new content and comment below to introduce yourself. May the magic of Christmas brighten your days all year long. Well, well, hello there, my friends. Hello there and best wishes to you. I have missed you, my friends. This past week, I was on a little vacation in the Dutch Caribbean. And here we are now at home, but I'm still thinking of my time on vacation. <laughs> Today's art will be all around the vacation trip. Some of the things that I have been able to spot and enjoy as well. But best wishes to each of you. Hello there, my friend. Wonderful to see all of you. Hello there, my friends. Dan has joined in. Toka, I see you there, my friend. Bethany has joined in as well. As she says, good morning, my favorite sugar cookies. <laughs> Well, Bethany, welcome, our wonderful moderator. Hello there, Jan, I see you there. Dan, good morning, Santa. Well, good morning to you. Good afternoon and good evening. Wherever you are out in the world, my friends, I'm wishing you all good things, all good things indeed. Well, what a wonderful week it was. I spent a week, my friends, on the island of Bonaire and on the island of Curaçao. These are municipalities of of the Netherlands. So the individuals there, for you young ones, all of the children, they learn four languages to speak. They speak, my goodness, they speak Dutch, they also speak English, they speak Spanish, and they also speak Papiamento, which is their language of the islands. My friends, what a wonderful thing. Language is a gift. It's a very important thing indeed around the world. Hello there, my friends, to all of those joining in. We are about to start the art live streaming on the Tubi of the Ubi, and I hope that you'll join in. A wonderful thing. This is also an opportunity to ask any questions that you might have, and I'm, I'm looking forward to today and thinking a little bit back on my time on, in the Caribbean, my friend. Adele, I see you there. Hello from the Czech Republic. Wonderful. Brazen, hello there. Good morning. Wonderful. Toka, you have lots of little emojis, my friend. Best wishes to you. Christmas obsessed, Bethany. Good morning. Pumpkin pie, morning, Santa. Well, morning. And Mr. Everett has joined in as well. We're almost head to 2024. Oh, a wonderful thing. Well, we're going to begin to ink our wonderful piece of art, my friends. Now, as you might, you might be able to notice, you might be able to see it, but I have penciled in a drawing. Something that I noticed, my friends, as I journeyed throughout, especially the island of Curaçao, that art is a most important thing, that color especially is a wonderful thing. I heard a story there on Curaçao that long ago the Dutch the Dutch individual responsible for managing the island. He was getting headaches, my friends, with all of the sun reflecting off of the white buildings. And he created a law. He said that every home must be a color to help absorb the sunlight. You could paint your building any color that you wanted, but it could not be white. Now, I heard that one individual, well, they tried to push it, and they painted their home a very, 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 very light gray. <laughs> it almost looked white, and he almost got in trouble, but he was able to show that it was a light gray. But everyone else painted their buildings, their homes, their businesses, purples and greens and blues and, and all sorts of wonderful, beautiful colors. Now later, many years later, it was found that our wonderful, the, the manager, the, the governor of the island, well, he was part owner of the paint company. <laughs> but now on the island of Curaçao, everyone celebrates the color. And you can, as you journey through the, the island, you will see beautiful murals all over. This is today's inspiration for the art. Murals of the images that I was able to enjoy and see. You cannot see it in pencil yet, but I've drawn a little beautiful yellow bird that kept continuing to visit me as I was eating my meals. The little yellow bird would come and say hello, a wonderful thing. Also the beautiful tropical flowers I have also added. And also the flamingo. I saw so very many wild flamingos on the island of Bonaire. 
And last but not least, my friends, well, I have a video to show you. My time enjoying, my time enjoying swimming with the dolphins. <laughs> what a wonderful, wonderful gift, my friends. A wonderful gift indeed. Well, we are going to be adding in our wonderful dolphin as well on our little miniature mural. It will be quite quite artistic in how we interpret the images. And I'm excited to add all of the colors and all of the fun as well. Hello there, Melissa has joined in. Soraya, good morning, my friend. Hello there, my friends. Looks cool as Christmas, wonderful. <laughs> I have a question. How was your very first, how was your very first Christmas? Well, I will tell you, my friends, my very first Christmas was very, very, very long ago. I learned quite early, my friends, the gift of gift giving, having the heart of a gift giver. We all can do this, my friends. We can all celebrate the season with the heart of a gift giver. Now, I will tell you, oftentimes I will hear young ones say, Santa, well, I cannot give gifts. I do not have money. I do not know how to, to, to go out and buy something. But gifts come in very many ways. Oftentimes, it could be even the kind words. It could be acts of service as well, helping a, a fellow individual, my friend, in need. All wonderful things. There are also our friends and family that could always use some additional support and kindness. And even reaching out and calling someone that you have not spoken to for a while. What a gift this might be as well. Well, my friends, we are going to begin. We have our pencil drawing to save time, but I'm going to be using the zebra brush pen and we're going to be starting our wonderful, our wonderful ink drawing that we are then going to be able to paint. Now, if you are drawing something, my friends, and you're wanting to paint over it, well, I hope that you will use a permanent ink. This way, if you're using watercolors, the ink does not wash around all over the place. But we will begin, my friends. The very first thing I'm going to start is our wonderful, wonderful dolphin. I hope everyone has had an opportunity to to watch some of the videos that I have posted of my wonderful time in the Caribbean. There were so very many wonderful memories, my friends. Memories that I will continue to think of and cherish for my whole entirety of life. A very important thing. Wonderful, wonderful. We have a dolphin now, my friends. The next one that I'm going to do is this wonderful, fluffy, this wonderful, fluffy little flamingo. Now, I could draw a straight line, my friends, but we want to show that there's all those little tufts of feathers. So instead of a straight line, I'm going to do little teeny tiny little lines to show that, that it's fluffy. Wonderful, wonderful indeed. Hello there, Santa, can you speak Finnish? A wonderful language, my friends. I have a small home in Rovinemi. Hello there. Hi, Nicholas. Well, hello there, my friend, and best wishes to you. I hope that everyone is doing good. I will tell you, I have posted an announcement just a few short days ago for our 100 days until Christmas. A very exciting time. Now it's 98, my friends. How exciting indeed. A 
wonderful, wonderful. The flamingos are so beautiful, my friends. Is anyone else speechless with Santa's room? Well, well hello there, my friend, and welcome and best wishes to you. We celebrate family miss in our, my home, and it is a wonderful time indeed. Braze, and I hope that you have a wonderful family miss, a wonderful thing. Hello, Santa, you're an awesome artist. Well, thank you very much, my friend. I think art is a beautiful thing. I think everyone is a wonderful artist within their heart. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of time to practice, and, and there are certainly artists out there that I admire, like Mr. Scott Sava. My goodness, what a, a delightful and talented individual. But he has so very much skill that he has worked on, for years and years and years. It all depends on on the time that you have spent on something. I'm I'm quite a wonderful toy maker, my friends, but I have spent many, many ages making toys. I'm also a wonderful cookie eater as well. <laughs> a wonderful thing that I have a lot of practice with. Hello there, my friends. Welcome home. How was your vacation? Well, my vacation was a wonderful thing. It was quite wonderful indeed. I'm so very excited to be able to share some more videos with you in the coming days for all of my adventures, my friends. It was quite exciting indeed. And some things I will tell you that I had to, that I had to think outside the box, my friends. I truly had to think and think of things in a different way. One of my videos that I have posted, if you have not seen it yet, was me jumping off a cliff into the ocean. My goodness, my friends, did you hear me? Jumping off a cliff into the ocean. <laughs> it is not one of my regular activities, as you might think. <laughs> but I was able to muster up enough courage to do so. A wonderful thing. And I'm always grateful that <laughs> that I'm able to stay out of trouble as well. A wonderful thing. Now here we're going to be, we're going to be inking our little bird. The little bird that would visit me, my friends. A wonderful little thing. And once again, you'll see that I'm, I'm not making straight lines in the shape. I'm, I'm putting other lines, little lines in there so that it, we have a, a sense, my friends, of, of the texture of the feathers. All wonderful, wonderful indeed. Now this wonderful bird, well, it has yellow and black and white. Wonderful. Our little bird friend. <laughs> Most of these feathers here are all, all black. A 
we're going to also be adding in quite a bit of quite a bit of white in here as well. My husband hears me play in the stream. He says he has so many ha 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 ha's. He needs more ha ha ha. Well, <laughs> my friends, I I have had so very many people say, Santa, can you can you say ho 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 ho? Well. I do not say ho 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 ho, <laughs> but I do laugh quite a bit. I think it is all of the joy coming out of my heart. <laughs> a wonderful thing. We're going to do a little circle here as well. This is something that I would see, my friends, is the use of different shapes in the murals that I would see. It was so very beautiful. So we will find some, some beautiful colors to use within these shapes. Wonderful. It's all coming together, my friends. The last one that I'm going to be doing is this wonderful, wonderful flower, a very tropical flower. Wonderful. What I think I'm going to do as well is add just a little distinction around our most important parts. Like our wonderful bird. Now, someone asked me while I was on vacation in the Caribbean, did I enjoy lots of cookies? And I would say that I had a few cookies that, especially in the places that I were staying, well, they, they were kind enough to have some cookies waiting for me when I arrived. But for the most part, I was able to try all sorts of other wonderful treats. This is also part of my very favorite part of Christmas. It's not that I'm able to enjoy my favorite cookie all of the time, but that I am able to enjoy your favorite cookies all of the time, that I can try your family favorites. This is a wonderful thing in, indeed. A wonderful thing. And here we're going to certainly have our dolphin stand out. Wonderful.
And here we're just trying, my friends, to find some of the shapes that we have here. There's quite a bit going on. It will be quite busy, and all of the colors will be quite busy. This is what we're looking for when we're creating this wonderful image. And I'm going to, just on the bottom here, I'm going to give us a little bit more Wonderful. Very good. Hello there, my friends, to all of those joining in. We're here on the YouTube, -y, and I'm working on a, a special piece of art, a wonderful piece of art that I'm about to begin to paint. Hello there, my friends. I spelled it wrong, Kick. Hello there, Santa Dolphins are my favorite animal. Well, Jessica, they are a wonderful, beautiful animal. I was also thinking, I wonder if dolphins could pull a sleigh. <laughs> I had the opportunity to those just joining in to swim with dolphins on the Dutch island of Curaçao, a beautiful thing. And I have a little video that I can show you. Look at me go, my friends, swimming down below. Opportunity, a wonderful time as well. Well, we have now, my friends, this piece of art. All things from my time in the Caribbean. A beautiful yellow bird that would visit me as I was enjoying a snack or two. The wonderful, beautiful tropical flowers as well. Beautiful flowers to enjoy. And on the island of Bonaire, well, the official animal is all of the wild flamingos that are all around. And we cannot forget, my friends, my experience with the dolphins, a wonderful thing indeed. Hello there, my friends. The dolphin looks adorable. Well, <laughs> wonderful. I love it, Santa. Well done. Well, thank you very much, Jessica. Dalton, Santa, I really love seeing you in your vacation outfit. Well, wonderful. It is not always that I put it on, but as I was going to be working on a little bit of a vacation piece of art, I thought it'd be quite fun indeed. Santa, I was born in Christmas. Well, a very special thing indeed, my friends. Santa, are you trying to be Aquaman? <laughs> I don't know, my friends. Does it look like Aquaman? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I think Aquaman, well, he moves through the water maybe a little faster than I can. <laughs> But I enjoyed my time, a wonderful time indeed. Well, my friends, we will now begin to paint. The very first thing that I think I'm going to do is, well, I want to be able to paint this beautiful flamingo, as they say. Look at this wonderful flamingo. And we're going to do our flamingo in a couple different layers, a couple different colors as well. A wonderful, wonderful thing. This one's going to be quite light here in these feathers. Now I'm going to paint all of it, but but we're going to come back and add in some darker moments here and there. We want that very light pink. And this one, my friends, the colors might not be quite quite what you might think. We're wanting brightness. We're wanting a mural, as I was finding along the buildings in the Caribbean. Bright, beautiful murals. This is the one that I'm looking for. The also, the other thing that I had noticed is, well, the wonderful flamingos also, they have not, they're not perfectly pink. They also have a little orange in them as well. And this is something that we will we will try to accomplish. We're going to dry this one, even though we're adding some more colors to our flamingo. We want to make sure that we we want to make sure that we dry it enough that the water of the watercolors does not move around too much. This is 
this is a wonderful thing. And here we are, my friends. Look at the beautiful, beautiful colors. A wonderful thing. A beautiful, beautiful color. And here we're leaving some of that light pink because those larger feathers there are quite light. You might not be able to notice it right now, but I did put a little orange in there. And we can come back and do a little more orange as well. And I'm going to just put in just a little bit here. A nice fluffy, fluffy feathers here. Wonderful. A beautiful, beautiful flamingo. There's a slight little hint of the orange right here, my friends, right along. The beak. As we talk about layers, we're going to add even more color. We want bright, bright colors. And this one, I'm going to do just a little bit of extra orange. And a wonderful, wonderful color. And this one here, again, we're going to be adding in just a little hints here and there. The wonderful thing on the Watercolors, my friends, is adding in, adding in all of the, all of the layers. The layers are what make it so beautiful and wonderful. I hope that everyone is doing well. I hope that you're all getting so excited for Christmas. It will be here, my friends, before we know it. Certainly, certainly, before we know it. Just a little bit more of the orange in here as well. Wonderful. A beautiful flamingo, my friends, a beautiful flamingo. The flamingos are also very peaceful as well. Do you know that we, a baby dolphin that's born, they are called a calf. And for a little while, it will stay silver until it is an adult, and then it go into a lighter silver. Wonderful, Jessica. Thank you for teaching us a little bit about dolphins. A wonderful thing. Hello there, my friends, and welcome. Loving the pink flamingo. Wonderful. Well, I'm so very happy that you enjoy it. I'm going to also now begin to paint our wonderful bird. Now, our bird has, a, has yellow and orange in it as well. A wonderful little bird. I'm going to paint his paint all around. We're wanting the bright colors. 
It is such a wonderful thing, my friends, the brightness of the colors. Isn't it wonderful? And blow dryer, my friends, with our trusty peppermint blow dryer. Are you ready for Christmas? Well, I'm not quite ready yet. There's still so very much to do, but we will get there, my friends. We will certainly get there. And I'm just going to put here just a little bit of the orange. Just a little bit of orange here and there. Just to give us some shadows within that yellow. I'm not quite sure if you can, if it picks up in the, picks up on the video, but hopefully my friends, you can see it. I'm going to do just a little hint here and there as well. Wonderful. And blow dryer. Your favorite color is purple. Wonderful. It is a beautiful color. We are getting there, we're getting there. Now our wonderful flowers. Ooh, we want to get to the flowers as well. We're going to do these, these wonderful pinks here, but they also have some yellow in them as well. We're doing this one quite quick. If we do it while the pink is also still wet, well, it will blend in a little bit as well, won't it? All wonderful and blow dryer now here we're going to go with very bright pink a wonderful wonderful pink and this one is going to help us in creating some of the lines of the flowers I'm going to edge through the edge of it here we are my friends a wonderful thing and when we go through here we're going to do some of I don't know how you would say it but I would call it the veining of the flower all of the all of the all of the wonderful little marks of the flower Well, here we're going to go through just on the edge just like this 
you know, we're going to have the edge pink, and then we're going to vein through, vein through the top layer there. Isn't it wonderful? A wonderful thing. I think we're getting there, my friends. And I'm also going to add just a little slight hint of purple as well. A wonderful thing. Just right along in the, in the bottom here. How delightful. There we are. <laughs> Isn't it all wonderful? All of the colors. The colors are a wonderful thing. This is something that if you look at pictures of Curacao, especially the island in the Caribbean, well, you will find, my friends, all sorts of wonderful, beautiful colors. And I'm also going to add very quickly as I'm thinking about it, I'm going to add a, the stems here of the beautiful flowers. Now you'll notice here that the green kind of blended in, but we will fix it, my friends, with the blow dryer. Hello there, here from TikTok. Vanny, hello there, my friend. Best wishes to you. Welcome, welcome to all of you here. A wonderful thing to see. Hello there, Paris. I see you there. I'm still subscribing to your channel. Well, I welcome you, my friend. I welcome you. Now, I'm going to use... The next one, we've talked about all of the brightness of the colors, but I'm going to use a... A very strong brown for this branch that our wonderful bird is perching on. And we will add more to it in color, but we want to at least define it. And just the even the shape of it and how it went through the background, all of these things I chose to be a little bit more artistic in nature. I think this will be quite wonderful. Quite wonderful indeed. And then here we go through our other branch as well. So we have our branch coming through the background. Now someone had mentioned, my friends, that purple is their favorite color. Well, what a wonderful thing. I'm going to be adding in some purple. Our wonderful circle is going to be a, a wonderful purple color as well. So here we go. We're going to be adding in some water to our adding some water to to our paint. And we're going to add this beautiful purple background right here. We want lots of color. Remember we are we are giving the impression of of a beautiful artistic mural, so it does not need to be lifelike in all of the colors. We can, we can certainly be quite creative in how we choose to paint it. Now if you are able, sometimes you put your painting on, a, on an easel and it's hard to move around, but if you can, as I have done, move your artwork around if it helps to paint it. If it gives you a better angle off for your brush, all of these things are wonderful. And here we're going to be painting the background. And I'm going to add just a little bit more water as well. We want our paint to move. We want it to be able to paint throughout the area smoothly as well. And I think that it is doing quite that. The other thing that you can do as well, if you're wanting to paint a large sp space, well, you can certainly go through and add some water to the area first. Hello there, you love the colors, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Hello there, my friends. Best wishes to each of you. Now I'm going to add just a little bit more purple, just to give us some more color. I love the brightness of the purple. 
The other thing, too, is sometimes it does not need to be perfectly smoothed out in the color. We can see the brush strokes. I think this is quite fun to be able to see when you look at a painting. Sometimes you want it nice and smooth, but sometimes you want to see the brush has moved around. A wonderful thing. And blow dryer. Now the next one that I'm going to be adding is a bright, bright blue. I think it will be the perfect of the blues. It will be wonderful. We're going to paint right along in here, my friends. Can you see it on the painting? Wonderful. All along in here. And all along in here as well. I think the purple and the blue and the pinks, they look so very nice together. I'll put in a little blue along in here and here as well. Everything in the background here. It has a wonderful look to it. What do you think, my friends? Is it looking like a beautiful, bright mural, colorful and tropical? This is what we want. This is my hope, my friends. Now I'm going to also be adding in a wonderful blue as well. And this will be a blue that I'm going to be painting, painting our wonderful dolphin. I noticed as well, my friends, that the dolphins, when we are seeing them underwater with the color of the water, well, they have a, they certainly have a slight turquoise to them. It's a wonderful thing. Well, I'm going to be trying my best to artistically do this as well. But we want a lot of water. And let us paint through. Here we go. Our dolphin is appearing right before our eyes. <laughs> a wonderful thing. Once we have this here, well, we can certainly go through and add more and more colors as well. You can always... You can always add more, my friends. And there are ways to be able to take away if we've done too much, but it's always easier to do it a little at a time. What a beautiful, beautiful piece. I'm going to be adding in just a little bit more of the green as I want to I want to be able to put in all of our all of our shadows as well. Isn't it wonderful? I can certainly hear Coco snoring. Can you hear Coco snoring, my friends? <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful. Here we are. I'm going to put in just a little bit here and there. We're getting there, my friends. We're certainly getting there. And we want a sharp edge here as well. And let us I'm going to do a sharp edge right here as well and open this up just a little. I think this will be good. Wonderful. Now I'm going to do just a little bit more shadowing. But I'm going to be doing shadowing, my friends, 
with a pink. I'm thinking of something different. Something bright and colorful, remember. But we're going to add just a little bit more, my friends, of, of the pink. I think it's a wonderful thing. What do you think? I think it's... I think it works. Wonderful, wonderful. And blow dryer. Now here you can see that in the very background I put some lines in here. And my thoughts on this one, well, I just want brightness. I want color. I want it to be beautiful. And I want it to remind me of, of the wonderful murals of the Caribbean islands. And so for this reason, I'm going to go through and paint as bright as I can to enjoy these wonderful stripes. We're adding in just lots of color. I think this is... This is going to give us the look that we're looking for. What do you think? Are we accomplishing the goal, my friends? Well, each one of these we do, we want to be careful that we do not add too much right next to the other or it will all bleed together. So you'll notice that here I'm letting the red rest for just a moment and I'm going to come up here and add in the next stripe that's not touching. We're going to be doing this bright green. Isn't it wonderful? We want this to be all about color. We want it to be beautiful. We're highlighting the imagery of the Caribbean trip that I have taken celebrating some of the animals that stood out to me as well. I think we need a very bright yellow. What do you think? I think we need a, a nice bright yellow. We will go up in here. All of the colors. It's all so beautiful. Wonderful, wonderful. And I'm noticing here, my friends, do you notice that there's a, we didn't do this one in blue. We want to be able to add some of the blue here as well. So we're going to, let's do the blow dryer. Wonderful. We will put this blue in here. And as I'm here and it's a little brighter, I'm just going to go through and add here as well. We can darken this one up. I think it will be helpful. Just a little here and there. Wonderful. I think it's coming along, my friends. I think it's coming along. What should the next color be? What color should we do, my friends? We've done so very many colors. I'm thinking right next to this yellow, I'm going to do a very bright orange. And this one will leave just a little, a little more color. I hope that you will help me pick out the last one. I love the orange. Wonderful. Wonderful. 
and blow dryer. The very last color for the background, my friends, what should it be? I'm thinking a bright, bright blue. What do you think? It will it will work well right next to the right next to the red. Wonderful. And I'm also noticing, my friends, that we did not paint the very background here. Did you notice? So we need to do a little orange right here. And let's blow dryer. Blue is a good color, wonderful. Now I'm going to, I see that I have forgotten it. I'm going to get out the ink one more time and divide that right up there. And this way we can go back and we can add in a little bit of green as well. Just right in the background. There we are. Wonderful. And blow a dryer. Now the next thing that I'm going to add, my friends, and I noticed in some of the murals that they did, well, they did a wonderful job, my friends, of bringing in shadows on the walls. So it looked like all of the characters of the painting, they were certainly standing out. Well, this is something that I want to try to do as well. So we're going to create a little bit of shadow just a little bit and I'll show you what what I mean so this dolphin here he has his shadow and we're going to create the shadow but we're also going to create it on the background almost like it was a painted wall to begin with so there we are we're going to do that for each of these I'm going to paint the shadow right along the edge of our bird. Do you see how it works? It just makes it stand out, makes it pop just a little as they say. I'm going to do just a little bit more. And the same thing for our flamingo. And we will also do it for the flowers as well. A wonderful thing. Here we're going to put in just a little, a little shadow also on the flowers themselves. And then we will put in the background. All wonderful. What I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to put just a little hint of, 
a shadow right in the right on the edge of these colors. Just to make them stand out. Wonderful. And last but not least, my friends, let's blow dry this and then we're going to go through and add in just a little bit of highlight. Hello there, my friends. Mila, hello there and welcome. You are not late, you're right on time. Welcome, I'm so very happy to see you. Hello there, my friends. Jessica, it snows where you are every year. Wonderful things. Wonderful. Now we are going to go through and we're going to add in some some of our highlights. This is a always a fun thing, but right here on the edge of the, the dolphin. I'm going to add in just a little bit of white. If we can get the paint working or the pen working, I think it will be quite good. Wonderful. There we are, my friends, there we are. We will add just a little bit here as well. And a little bit here. All along the edge, just a few little spots here and there to highlight the feathers. I think this always gives a a wonderful effect just all along the edge now here we can also add them through some of the tops of the larger feathers always wonderful and also along in here now as I said on this one my friends we're going to be we're going to be adding in some white on this one here because this this bird has some beautiful white coloring as well so this one we're going to be adding in some of the white that we did not paint in all right here and right here and also along in here as well it's all wonderful to see now these ones here have slightly more white Right there on the on the bottom. And we'll add in some some movement here on the on our flowers. Little highlights here and there. And let's do just a little bit on our branch. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Well, my friends, I think we are done. It has been a whirlwind. <laughs> a whirlwind indeed. But we have made it. I'm going to sign it. There we have Santa. And we have done it. What do you think, my friends? How did we do? Isn't it a wonderful, a wonderful, colorful painting? Wonderful indeed. Well, I think that we're going to need the tape peel. <laughs> my fingers are crossed, my friends. I think it turned out quite nice. Wonderful, wonderful indeed. 
And there we have it, my friends. There we have it. All done. There is our painting. How tropical can it be? I think we have accomplished it. It looks like a mural, my friends. It looks like something that I would have seen on a side of a building of the beautiful islands of Bonaire or Curaçao. My friends, I wish you all good things. Amazing job, Santa. Well, thank you very much, my friends. Some flamingos' beaks don't have much color. I agree with you. Some of them have just a little bit of the pink in it as well. But my friends, I'm wishing you all kindness and goodness. To all of those that have not joined in, this is the painting we have just accomplished. The painting that we have just finished. I hope that you all enjoy it. My friends, what a wonderful day it is. We are 98 days away from Christmas. I send you from my heart to yours. I truly hope that your day is filled with happiness and joy and kindness and love and all good things. I'm so very excited that you have taken just a moment from your day to spend with me and it brightens my day and all of my heart. I wish you kindness and goodness and all positivity. I remind each of you that you matter, that you belong, that you are good enough just as you are, my friends, that I love you and I wish you all positivity and the happiness in your life. May you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And we will be back, my friends, on Thursday for another live streamy. It will be a live streamy, my friends, for a part of our series of a Christmas movie character. So once we post this video, I would truly appreciate if you leave me some comments and let me know what character you might want to see. There have been lots of suggestions, but Hopefully we can find something that one of you truly wants to watch me paint. My friends, kindness and goodness to each of you. Bethany, thank you for your kindness in helping to moderate the live streamy. And to all of those that have joined in all around the world, my friends, may you have a wonderful and beautiful day.